got it. So, is review our ratios. So, what's that thing that we use to remember our ratios? So, so, ka. So, okay. So, so the toe, and it means that sine equals one over what? Opposite over hypotenuse. Ka is cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And TOA, tangent equals opposite over adjacent. <clears throat> All right, so number three, or just kidding, number two, it only gives me two sides. So it's going to be hard for me to use my hypotenuse if I don't have it, right? Mm -hmm. Is there a way I can find it? How? <laughs> Pythagorean theorem. Yep. Anytime you have two sides of your triangle, you get your third by using Pythagorean theorem. So, 9 squared? 81 plus 12 squared? 144. Equals c squared. So c squared equals what is it? 225. And the square root of c is. So now I know that my hypotenuse is 15. So that might happen. It might. You might not have that third side, and you've got to find it. Okay. So sine of w means that we're going from w, right? Opposite over hypotenuse was opposite. 12 over 15. So cosine would be adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Can I reduce any of these? 12 over 15 reduces to? Four fifths, nine fifteenths goes to three fifths, and four thirds. All right, so now I'm going to sign cosine and tangent of x. Right, and sine is going to be opposite over. Hot news. That reduces to three fifths. Cosine is going to be up. Look here. Yes. Adjacent over hypotenuse reduces to four fifths. And tangent opposite. Over adjacent is three fourths. All right, time for the good stuff. So, when do we use these? We use these sometimes to find missing sides of a triangle, sometimes to find missing angles. Today, we are going to find missing sides. Okay? So, usually what I do, so from the angle that's given to us, which angle do we have? We have 28, right? We've got to decide if I'm going to use sine, cosine, or tangent. That all depends on what sides are given to me and what sides I want. Okay, right? so my x is, from 28, my x is my opposite, and 19 is my Hypotenuse. All right. So if I'm looking for opposite and I have hypotenuse, who am I going to use? Which one uses opposite and hypotenuse? 
sun, right? So this is how we're going to set, we're going to set this up. We're going to say sine of what my angle is. So sine of 28 equals, what's opposite? X over, what's my hypotenuse? 19. Alright, I'll type this in your calculator yet because I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so if x is on top, all I have to do is cross multiply. So I'm going to take 19 times the sine of 28. So, some of you are still trying to type this in your calculator. You're not going to know how to do it yet. In your calculator, you need to take sine of 28 first. So you've got to hit sine 28, or some of you are 28 sine. Okay, hit enter, and it's going to give you a big long decimal. Okay, then times by 19. And in the directions, they're asking us to go to the nearest 10. So, So if that's the case, x equals 8.9. Questions on how to type that in your calculator? No? Alright. So number two then. From 41, x is my opposite. 32 is my adjacent. So what do I use with opposite and adjacent? Tangent. So now I'm going tangent of 41 equals, what's my opposite? Over 32. Okay. Your other way of typing this in is you could put parentheses around this. So you could go 32 times parentheses tangent of 41, but then you got to do two parentheses at the end. What is x equal? 27.8. Now, always take a peek at your answer. And does it make sense if that side's 32? Does it make sense for this to be 27.8? Yeah, if I would have gotten like 1.3, would that make sense? So then you might have done something wrong. Okay? Sometimes it's you pick sine or cosine when it should have been tangent. Sometimes you're just in the wrong mode in your calculator. You're in radians instead of degrees. Okay? Alright, so number three. From 21, x is my adjacent. 26 is my hypotenuse. So what am I using if I have adjacent and hypotenuse? So cosine of 21 equals adjacent over hypotenuse, 26. Okay, so I'm going cosine. 21 times 26. X equals 24 point what? Is that a reasonable answer to the triangle that's given? Yes. Alright, number four. From 55, X is opposite, 8 is adjacent. So who am I using with opposite and adjacent? For what, huh? Tangent. So tangent of 55 equals opposite over adjacent. So type that in. X 
x equals huh? 4.6? Oh, what is it supposed to be? 11.4? So 9, we've got J queen leading the ladder against the house. Since you guys didn't like my half a house, half the whole house. So he's got his ladder leading up against this. How long is his ladder? 12. It says the angle formed by the ladder and the ground. So here's the ground. What angle are we looking at? The bottom right one, right, is how big? 68? Because how far from the base of the house did he place the ladder? So we want x down here, right? So what am I going to use? Sine, cosine, or tangent? Cosine, right? This is my adjacent. This is my hypotenuse. Are we all understanding how to find if I'm using sine, cosine, or tangent? Okay, so we've got to look at that. So, uh, oops. So, okay, I've got adjacent and I've got hypotenuse. The only one that uses adjacent and hypotenuse is plus. So I've got to use cosine. Okay? So cosine of who? 68 equals adjacent x over 12. So am I multiplying or dividing? I am multiplying because x is on top. So 
L times cosine of 68. Excuse me? 4.5 what? Okay, so the first thing you have to decide, what sides do I have? Do I have opposite and hypotenuse? Do I have adjacent and hypotenuse? Or do I have opposite and adjacent? Because that's what tells you do I use sine, cosine, or tangent. Okay, that's your biggest 